Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop. Uh, I am now about to embark on my next project, uh, which is the one, the, the secret one, <laughs> that I've been talking about for weeks, possibly months. Um, so what it is, is uh, I've been making a lot of these uh, one string instruments and the like, and um, what I've decided to go for now is what's called a, a CBG, Cigar Box Guitar. Um, so, as the name suggests, the body is traditionally made out of a cigar box um, with um, a full scale neck, but it's narrower because there's only three strings. Uh, the traditional tuning of a, of a CBG is G, D, G. Um, and for that reason, it's, it's, it's uh, known as an open G tuning, uh, which means without even fretting any of the strings, if you strum across all the three strings, you get a G chord. So they're quite easy to play. Uh, and they come in many, many different shapes, sizes, designs, and everything. I'm, I'm not using a cigar box, but I am using uh, this box, um, which is it's kind of a, a trinket or jewelry box. And I'll just get a ruler to um, see what the dimensions are of this box. So lengthwise it is 23 centimeters or nine inches if you prefer. Width um, is 16 centimeters, about six and a quarter inches, a little over, and depth is um, seven and a half centimeters, about three inch. Um, so as I said, they do come in all different shapes and sizes. So that's the box I'm using for the um, body. It's got a nice little, uh, that's actually, that is actually metal. Um, but these, they're fabric. And it's got a nice clasp on there. And uh, quite nice hinges. They look, look kind of like buckles. And um, I'm obviously gonna, when I build it, seal it shut. Um, but, so that's, that's the body part. Now, for the neck, I've got this uh, piece of wood. It's a hard redwood, I'm not sure what species. Um, and I've already marked out the, I don't know how you can see that, the shape of the neck, and also put a template on the top for the headstock which you can see what kind of style that is. Is that the right way around? Hold on a minute. I've just realized that's a left-handed one, so I'm gonna to have to change that around. <laughs> that's the one I made for, for a, a, one of my previous instruments. Okay, so I've gotta got to redo that. Um, actually, no. No, I don't. Because once I cut it out of this basically square block, then you know I can just reverse it, so I'll be fine. Um, so the fretboard that I made previously didn't actually make it. I've got a, just an ordinary guitar fretboard and cut down the width of it. So that's what I used to mark that out. So that's kind of what it will look like. Good angle. So I'm going to proceed to cut this out <coughs> with my bandsaw. Not sure how well this is going to go, but we'll soon find out, won't we? Um, this does have a new, a new blade on it, well I've used it a couple of times, so hopefully it should be okay, but it's been a little bit temperamental lately, so I'm going to be quite cautious with this, because it's, uh, it's been freaking me out a little bit lately. So, I'll just switch the light on, it might, it might wash you out a bit. Hello. Better sort that out, that's not much good is it? Hmm, okay, we appear to have an electrical issue. Just bear with me one second and I'll get this sorted.
appears to have sorted it. We'll probably go again, but we'll see. Okay, so noise alert. I am going to start to cut the general shape of this. Here we go.
Okay, so there we go. That's the <laughs> second. That's the general shape. Uh, not too bad. Quite happy with that. So obviously that will be the the correct side. I'm going to have to do quite a lot of shaping uh, first, but I'll I'll leave this on here and I'll I'll get the shape squared off around here first. Um, just obviously remember that it's going to be that side because this instrument's not for me, um, so it will be for for sale. <coughs> so I'll need to do it as a right-hander. I'm just going to make sure that the fretboard still fits on there nicely. Which it does. Slight little bit of overhang both sides, but that's what you want. Obviously, better too big than too small, and then you start to shape it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a good start. Quite happy with that. Um, actually, I'm just going to take a, a little bit off a little bit more off there um, just put my pencil line in a bit better how are we doing for time fantastic okay let's take a little bit more off of there So um, I'll be doing a little bit more of the shaping uh, with rasps and files, etc. Um, I'm not going to film that. You've seen me do that before, and it's not all that interesting. Um, okay, so that's stage one of this uh, particular project. Um, so as, as I said, I'm going to do most of the uh, shaping, filing, and sanding, etc. off camera. Um, I might show a little bit of the actual uh, the, the shaping of the back of the neck. I know I have showed that shown that before, but um, that is always usually quite interesting. So when I get towards that stage, that will be uh, part two of this video project. But I'm going to end this one here. Keep it quite short. Um, I've got a lot of work to do to that now to get that um, starting to take shape. And as I said, I'm not going to film that. So that is part one of the cigar box project. And if it goes well, I am actually planning to make three of these um, because I've got the hardware, i.e. tuners and bridges um, for three of them. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you that hardware in a, in a later video. I just wanted to sort of kind of introduce this project and show what I'm doing to get started, which is, uh, a general shaping of the neck and headstock okay so I really hope you're enjoying um, my video uploads uh, I'm sure some of you have seen um, the the beginning of my uh, electric baritone ukulele project um, that's coming along um, still a few more bits to do there before I'm finished so I really hope to see you soon Hope you uh, are all well, taking care of yourselves and each other. Peace out. <laughs>